now we will discuss about the electromagnetic spectrum see this is a diagram which explains the relationship between wavelength and frequency so wavelength is in the decreasing order frequency is in the increasing order we know that c is equal to nu lambda where lambda is equal to c by nu that means lambda is inversely proportional to frequency so wavelength frequency decreases wavelength increases frequency increases wavelength decreases so what is electromagnetic spectrum it is an array obtained by the arranging of electromagnetic waves on the basis of their wavelengths it is an array obtained by the arrangement of electromagnetic waves on the basis of their wavelengths maybe in the order of increasing wavelengths or decreasing wavelengths we are arranged we have arranged the all electromagnetic waves this arrangement is called electromagnetic spectrum the spectrum contains invisible and visible what is invisible this is the visible range of wavelength 10 power minus 6 meters and which consists 10 power 15 to 10 to the power of 16 hedges of the frequency so what we can say before the visible visible is from violet to red withdraw v i b g y o r withdraw it is violet indigo blue green yellow orange red this seven colors will contains in the is contained in the visible before visible and after visible are all are invisible so before visible what we can expect ultraviolet x rays gamma rays after the visible infrared radio and long waves the whole arrangement from gamma uh, long waves to gamma or gamma to long waves as the order of increasing or decreasing is called electromagnetic spectrum in electromagnetic spectrum this is visible spectrum all are invisible spectrum now we are going to, uh, to find out or discuss about the production of these waves and their uses the first one we are going to discuss is radio waves First, it was discovered by Marconi in 1895. The range of the radio waves is from 1500, sorry, 500 kilohertz to 1000 megahertz. In these radio waves, amplitude modulation is there, frequency modulation is there. So, what is the amplitude modulation? It is from 530 kilohertz to 1710 kilohertz. The frequencies which lies in between 530 kilohertz to 1710 kilohertz is said to be amplitude modulation. Frequency modulation, FM, so daily we are listening the FM radios, that is uh, under the basis of frequency modulation. The frequency modulation is 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. In these radio waves, the long wavelengths which are up to 54 kilohertz, up to 54 kilohertz are called short wavelengths or short band or short band uh, these radios are used to transmit the tv signals also so what is the range of tv signals in these radio waves for tv signals It is uh, 54 
Maga heads to 890 Maga heads. So this is also 54 Maga heads. This is up to short wavelengths. See, this is the original range of radio waves. Among this, amplitude modulation is uh, five thirty kilohertz to seventeen ten kilohertz. Frequency modulation is eighty eight megahertz to one hundred eight megahertz. In this long wavelengths, up to fifty four megahertz is called short wavelengths or short band. From 54 MHz to 890 MHz, the frequency range is useful for the transmission of TV signals. So, the cell phone signals are also radio waves, but the cell phone signals will work in ultra high frequency. Nothing but UHF ultra high frequency so what is the use of radio waves it is useful for the tv signals transmission radio signal transmission cell phone signal transmission also now we will see about the microwaves it was discovered by hard who is the si note of frequency in the year 1888 This frequency range or wavelength range is 10 power minus 4 meters to 1 meter wavelength range. This is the wavelength range of uh, microwaves, but the frequency is in gigahertz range. Frequency. To produce these microwaves, we should need a special arrangement like gun diodes, magnetron valves like this. Gun diodes, comma, magnetron valve. These are the instruments, klystron also, along with this klystron. producers of microwave this we can say once these microwaves are generated by these producers which can be it can be sensed by semiconductor devices sensed by semiconductor devices then what is the use of these microwaves microwaves are mainly useful for the transmission of radar signals and these microwaves which is focused on a particular material for a long time they can heat up the materials temperature increases the materials temperature for this purpose these microwaves are useful in microwave oven also oven which is useful to bake the food or heat the food So this is the information about the micro waves. Next we are going to discuss about infrared waves. This was first discovered by Herschel in 1800. Their wavelength region is 7 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters to 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. This is the wavelength range. Any object which is heated for high temperatures and which is a thermally excited body, if the ions which are in a matter which are thermally excited, they will release the energy in a form of infrared radiation. That means uh, heating effect is the main source to produce the infrared waves. So infrared waves which are emitted by extremely hot bodies. This is very very important. If suppose if any radiation came out of an extremely hot body, 
if it is a glass prism glass prism can absorb the heat because of this point if you want to analyze or give the to see the analysis of the infrared waves instead of glass prism it is very better to use rock salt prism instead of glass mainly because of the heating effect of these infrared waves these waves are useful for doctors in the treatment of theropathic surgeries not only in the medicine these infrared waves are useful for the military purpose to observe the activities of the enemy and uh, to observe the growth of car crops observe the growth of crops this is also one of the use and many electrical devices which we are using in a household purpose also contains infrared waves of, waves of less intensity best example tv remotes video recorders come a high fi system these are all the uses of infrared waves so infrared waves are having best heating effect that's why it is useful in therapeutic surgeries in case of medicine also next we are going to discuss about visible light before this visible light we have studied up to infrared that in up to infrared is, uh, is from the bottom to top is invisible so what is visible light first it was studied by newton in 19 sorry 1666 not in 1966 it is in 1666 the wavelength range of the visible light is 4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters to 7 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters or 4000 angstroms to 7000 angstroms in visible light violet is the shortest wavelength shortest wavelength as well as red color has the longest wavelength for this purpose only red color is useful in traffic signals danger signs uh, car headlight back head back lights and uh, any motor vehicles back light is uh, red color that means uh, red color traffic can travel to the long distances in a given space uh, so which we can sense a vehicle which is in front of us so because of this is the best example of the red color and the sources of the visible light is all glowing bodies any body which is glowing maybe a candle flame a fluorescent lamp sodium lamp filament bulb tube light all are the best examples for the sources of the visible light why it is called visible light this is the visible range for human beings if you see the infrared waves these are visible to the snakes also but infrared waves which cannot be absorbed by the human eye means human eye not having that much sensitivity are to analyze the high frequencies and high wavelengths so that is the point we can we are restricting our studies up to visible light from violet to red color the order of the violet to red color is called visible spectrum if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus